Welcome back guys to In His Tracks. Season has been pretty slow going so far. There's been a lot of a lot of hot weather, dry conditions. Um, the deer ain't wanted to move much in the daylight. I haven't had no luck myself, um, but we have been fortunate enough as a group to get a couple of our first kills of the year. John had an opportunity to go out to Kansas and he, he was successful out there. Yeah, I was able to go out there in early season. Uh, of course, we got a lot of these deer coming into the food plots and the bean fields and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, no big bucks coming out really, you know, before dark too often. And uh, so we went ahead and switched gears and was able to go ahead and, uh, and get a doe down on the ground. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into that hunt. Okay, guys, it's September 26th and we've made it out to the food plot. We've got up here in the redneck and we're getting settled in. Uh, it's about 4.20, 4.30, somewhere in there. And uh, there's already a couple of three deer in here when we, when we eased into the, the blind. So we're going to get settled in here and we're going to see if we can't get one of these does in close enough for a shot tonight. Stick with us. Mature dough. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Okay, guys, don't know if you can quite see me or not, but we was able to get a doe down tonight uh, over here at the food plot from the redneck. Ended up being a 40 yard shot. I had a second camera set up, but actually, uh, she ended up coming behind that camera. In the footage, she uh, actually really drops a, uh, when I released the arrow there. And so uh, I was able to hold it low enough. And when she dropped, we were still able to get her. And so anyway, we're gonna get a tag on her and then we're gonna go get the truck and uh, we'll see if we can't get her out of here tonight. And uh, just feels good to be able to put some meat in the freezer and get the, the first deer of the 2017 season. All right, so that was some pretty cool footage um, from John self-filming out there in Kansas. Reburn was also able to have a lot of fun, a lot of success with his wife um, as well. She was able to get a good buck on the ground. Yep, we were fortunate enough to get her best buck to date by Bo. Well, it even would have been my best buck to date by Bo on the ground, but also fortunate enough to get it on film. Uh, lighting conditions weren't the best, but we had already told ourselves if we had an opportunity at this deer, we were going to get it regardless. So, but we were lucky enough to get it on film.
Hey guys, we're here on September 30th. We went hunting this evening and we finally got our first kill of the year. I say we because I'm not the one that shot it. My wife is actually the one that shot it. We have put a lot of time and effort into this deer. We've been watching it pretty hard for the past couple weeks. Finally got an opportunity to hunt it pretty hard this weekend. It all paid off. We had it and a smaller eight point come in. Patience was the key on this one. We watched these two deer for about 40 minutes and she finally waited for it to give her a good opportunity at a shot and she was able to take it. It went about 75 yards and we could hear it expire. I just have to say I'm pretty proud of how calm she was and how good of a shot she put on this deer. But our evening is just fixing to begin so I guess we'll get out of here and get this thing took care of. Well, big congratulations to Tia. That was a great buck. I know any of us would be proud of a buck like that uh, with our bow. And uh, so, again, big congratulations to her. You know, guys, this season so far is just, uh, I don't know if it's really been any different than most seasons, but with this warm weather that's moved in and, you know, trying to get in stands, but then also having to try to wait for the, uh, the weather to break uh, and get the right wind even for some of these stands. I know it's really been testing our patience. And I think we even said that, I think, Reber, you said that on the, on your, your hunt with Tia there. Uh, and, you know, sometimes uh, in hunting, we all know that sometimes that's just what we run into. Uh, you want to get into a stand, but you know, you know you're better off to just wait and get in there when the wind's right, when the weather conditions are right. Uh, I know for us working, you're better off to save that vacation time sometimes and go ahead and, and stay with what we know we have to get done and then hit the deer when the deer are going to be on their feet and moving. And so again, our key here, I think, is going to be patience. And that reminds me of a verse that we was talking about earlier that I found in James 1, it's verses 2 through 4. It says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. You know, as we evaluate that with kind of what we're running into so far this year, that's, that's what we want to do in our spiritual life too, is learn to allow God to develop patience through circumstances that we confront in life. And hopefully by doing that, uh, you know, one day we'll be able to, to uh, find that we're whole and complete and God's been able to work His perfect work in our life. So thanks for watching and until next time, remember to stay in His tracks. tracks.